Hello there, I have been tagged by Adam Otway to do my own neck nomination. And for this neck nomination, I would like to nominate Winston Churchill's neck. It is, without a doubt, one of the most classic British necks, and although flaps are quite a prominent design feature of the neck, don't be mistaken, this was a neck that was unflappable. The Germans couldn't flap it. The Italians couldn't flap it, not even the Soviets could flap this mighty British neck. Although some may argue that the excess baggy skin was a design fault for the neck because it would affect the aerodynamic efficiency of the neck in motion. It could be argued that this was a neck that was never going to be in motion because Winston Churchill is not a man to flee from trouble. Also, one could argue that the flap was mainly excess chin and not neck. So, with all this in mind, I have to say Deirdre Barlow was an excellent neck choice, but Winston Churchill's neck does it for me. On top of all of this, it was that very neck that housed the larynx, that provided Winston Churchill's epic speeches with the rousing intonation that made them so inspiring for generations. And that is why Winston Churchill's neck receives my nomination.